Hey there, I'm Mr. Left Turn, not coming to you on a computer, but live from BronyCon 2018 in Baltimore. And yes, I am not a pony. I'm sorry to disappoint anyone. And no, I'm not wearing my sunglasses, which you've seen in a couple of my photos by now, but it's late and I'm not Corey Hart, so. Uh, in my room, they're not my roommates, but they stopped by because they're friends. We got Blackbird. Hello. Blackbird's friend, Nate. Hey. And his friend, Nick. Hello. And no, it's not Nick Confalone, unfortunately. <laughs> Uh, but speaking of Nick, I got to meet him today and thanked him for his masterpiece, Forgotten Friendship. And I got him to sign the Horrid Season 6 cover. And since he wrote No Second Prances and it starred Glim Glam, I got him to sign this pink square. So it's not useless anymore, Hasbro. So ha. Uh, I also got to meet the one and only Bill Newton, who I didn't know was an Aussie until he started talking. So now my head cannon is, he is Wooden Sword's long lost uncle and I will believe that until I hear otherwise. But he, I told him my name was Lefty, my friends call me and he wrote, do not turn right, bad things will happen. And thus, Bill Newton is awesome. And he told me in his pharynx voice, I put you in a bag, I thought it went great. <laughs> pharynx is best changeling, who agrees? Yes, but thank you. Soup you got My soup's too hot. You got a cool look. Yeah, <laughs> give back. Uh, other VIPs I got to meet, the one and only Peter New, who plays second best princess to Luna. Uh, I, he liked my Big Mac voice. I said a line in my Big Mac voice, and he said it was pretty good, so I'm happy about that. I also got to meet Ingrid Nilsson, who voices all of Pinky's wonderful sisters. And... She petted my jacket, my amazing racing jacket, as you can see, and she liked it. So, you people may not watch NASCAR, but it is stylish. That, that is a nice jacket. <laughs> it is. Yes, it is. Yes, yes, it not is. Not as good as the Six Doctors Co., but it's still good. Now that you said that, Pat Rex will murder you. Bring it! <laughs> I can say I have not Bring it, Pat! You I and me! Can... We're going to settle this one day in the ring! I can confirm that. Will there be pancakes in this ring? There will be. <laughs> and then finally, I got to meet one of my favorite writers, Mr. M.A. Larson, who I sound alike, which he even commented on, and he said we should do a podcast sometime just because people wouldn't know who's talking. <laughs> um, but he asked me which my favorite of the main six was, which it's main seven now, by the way. Right. <laughs> Uh, and I said Applejack and not only did he say good choice, but he wrote one of my favorite Applejack lines without me even asking him I didn't learn anything You know people who hate super speedy cider squeezy 6000 you people don't know how to have fun Because apparently it makes no sense to Anthony C and everyone worships what he says <laughs> But yeah um, I also got to meet uh, the lovely Miss Bright Idea today. She is just just as much in her videos as she is in real life, a ball of fun. Yeah. Or a well, light bulb we of know. fun. We've only seen her for three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> we have seen Fast Track more than her, because that guy can pop up out of anything like Discord. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, this also, even better than last year, because I've had friends to hang out with this time. Uh, the best first day for BronyCon I've had, not only because of that, and not only because, you know, it's BronyCon, but today, July 27th, marks four years to the day I joined this wonderful fandom. And, yes. And all my friends watching this and to all friends I made over fan fiction who probably won't watch this, I want to thank each and every one of you for creating some of the most wonderful memories I've ever had uh, I don't care what anyone says about this fandom and it, its supposed toxicity. This is one of the, if probably not the greatest fandom I've ever been in. The creativity and friendship and just bonds within this fandom is second to none. And I don't know what I'd do without it. So I'm going to wrap up this vlog. Um, I'm going to be vlogging more tomorrow because today was just an autograph day and we can't record in the autograph room for some stupid reason. But 
I hope all of you have fun. And don't forget to watch the Pocono race this Sunday midnight. I'm watching you. Bye, guys.